big thanks to EA for sponsoring this video. Woo! Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah, if you are new. Today we are building a backyard, I was gonna say retreat, but it's literally in the kit name. <laughs> We're gonna be building a backyard oasis with the Riviera Retreat Pack. That's what it's called, right? But yeah, uh, I really like all the items that came with the kits and I was re feeling really inspired. So I wanted to build something for you guys to show you the items, show you what you can do with it. Um, I'm not really a backyard builder, but this kit made me want to build a backyard. So here's an overview of all of the items in the kit. This is the pre-built backyard that The Sims has on the gallery for you. I just wanted to show you an overview and kind of what they did with the pack. Um, so let's go ahead and start our backyard, shall we? So I wanted to do a custom pool. I never do custom pools, but I was just like messing around with it. I really wanted to do something special for this, not just something like square and boring. So I wanted to do like a multi-level pool. So here I am trying to figure it out. Eventually I did. And uh, I slapped the new pool trim on it, which I really, really like. The pool looks a little wonky right now, but we're gonna make it look better with plants. Gonna cover all those hard edges. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I fenced it in so that I could upload it as a room for you guys. If you guys want this as your backyard in one of your houses or whatever, um, I'll be uploading it to the gallery as a room. It should be pretty easy to place. But yeah, uh, this kit came with a really beautiful new pool ladder, something I didn't know that I wanted or needed, but now that I see it, it's like gorgeous. It's wood, which I don't know how that makes sense, um, being submerged in the water, but... <laughs> I'm just going to assume there's some kind of protective film over the wood. Uh, it's also the sim, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And then these beautiful fountains that came with the pack. They are absolutely gorgeous. I think probably my favorite item from the pack, other than that little drink tray that you guys will see in a minute. Um, but yeah, I have all of the items from the pack like there lined up <laughs> in the background so I know what to use. Um, super cute pergola, super cute bonfire pit these new loungers, a pool lounger, a little towel shelf, new little end tables, that cute scalloped uh, outdoor table with the umbrella. It's so adorable. The table has the same pattern as the chairs that came with the pack. It has the same patterns as the lounger. Everything just matches really well. And the swatches are super cute. They're pastel. <laughs> we all love pastels, don't we? Um, and then the kit also came with this like stone pavement, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I really like the way that it looks. I'll probably be using that a lot. So since I put the fountain on a raised pool, I had to like put stuff under it to make it look, <laughs> make it look natural, make it make sense. But yeah, the kit also came with these curtains, which are, um, they're quite interesting, but I like them. I'll always appreciate a new curtain. So yeah, I'm just loading it up with plants. We got these new fountains in the pack. Uh, but as you can see, like I'm using the plants to like cover up the harsh edges of the pool because it did look a little bit weird. This is the new tile that came with the pack. I'm obsessed with this tile. It has such good dimension. I love the pattern. I love that it's like a little bit worn. Um, honestly, beautiful. And this bonfire pit is really cool too. It looks like it's CC. Honestly, everything from this kit looks like it's CC. <laughs> like they have really stepped up their game with um, build stuff and I'm really stoked. Um, I'm the type of person that uses a lot of CC, so being able to like build a backyard without like having the need for it is honestly so dope. Yeah, so here I am just trying to like figure out this lounge area. I figured out that if you press Control F while you have a tile selected, it will do a half tile, like a little triangle shape. Uh, this is the first time that I've ever done this and I felt like the little lounge area needed it with the shape of the pergola, you know, and we're kind of like building on a diagonal so it was a little bit, a little bit weird, but yeah, uh, the kit came with these new pool lights which can, which can also be used indoors, uh, honestly they're really beautiful, and then the kit also came with one more light, it's this like candle thing, 
a wall candle. I thought they would look cute on here just to add a little bit more light, you know? Um, but yeah, the pool looks really beautiful at night. It's nice and lit up. And uh, of course, we had to do some terrain paint. It just makes everything look more seamless and natural and not just like fake laying there on the ground. Uh, I love doing terrain paint under plants. It just makes it look a little more natural as well, more depth. When I was doing this, I was like, holy crap, this is like, this is literally doing art right now. I am shading my bill. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's honestly so funny. Um, adding some trees to the space, I feel like it really needed it. And then there are these lights from Cottage Living Debug. They're little hanging lights. They're meant to go on a tree. They're there right there. They're super cute. They light up at night. I just think it's a really nice touch to put on really any tree you want. It's quite nice. And uh, yeah, just filling up the space with more plants. I felt like it felt a little empty. So the more plants, the merrier. And then these lights from Wedding Stories are my favorite. This is probably my favorite item in the game. I use them in every single one of my builds. I just think they're so cute. And they add a little bit of ambient light to the area. Um, and then I'm just gonna fill in some more space. I felt like we needed a barbecue back here, uh, a trash can, and then uh, a little bike resting against the wall just to fill in that area a little bit more. Oh man, and then of course we gotta add some fireflies. Can't have a backyard build without some fireflies. And that is it. Here it is, all done. I moved in some sims to test some things. Really love the way it turned out. It's especially beautiful at dusk. Dusk, yes, not dawn, dusk. <laughs> There's the little drink tray I was talking about. It gives you like these really cute little mint citrus nectar cups. Uh, I'm obsessed and it's got little lemons on it. It is really such a cute item. I'm, I love it. Um, so yeah, here are the girls just enjoying their new backyard. It looks really good at night too. Like, I love how it turned out. I hope you guys like it too. If you would like to download this for your house, my gallery ID is SimSav. I'll upload it as a room like I said. <laughs> And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini backyard build. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!